Follows an atoll. That means it's covered by coral sand and is rimmed by coral rock. But somewhere down under here, we think there's an old volcano. Charles Darwin was the first one to hypothesize how atolls were formed by the sinking of a volcano into the Earth's crust. Well, coral would grow around the volcano, and as the volcano sank down, the coral would grow up. And eventually, the volcano would sink so far that it was totally under the sea. It was the only way to explain how atolls could form in a ring and it was met with reasonable acceptance until Alexander Agassi, uh, 20 or 30 years later, a famed geologist said, nonsense, it can't be that way, that's just a little bit too simple. It must be that coral atolls grow up from the bottom of the sea rather than the volcano sinking down. One way to test whether Darwin or Agassiz is right, and that's to dig down through the surface of the atoll. Because if Darwin was right, then we dug down, we'll get to a point where we find the extinct volcano underneath the atoll. The British Royal Society took a different approach to try to answer this question. Instead of a shovel, they brought a drill to Funafuti in 1897. They didn't know what they'd find. They didn't know how deep they'd have to go. They didn't know if Darwin was right or if Agassiz was right. What they found when they dug this 1,100 foot hole was coral. In science, you don't always get the answer right away and you don't always get the answer you expect. The expedition didn't prove Darwin right, but it didn't prove him wrong either because a hole this deep maybe wasn't deep enough. In the long run, it turns out Darwin was right. Scientists kept digging, and finally, 50 years later, on another island, another expedition drilled down about a mile and found a volcano. <laughs> <laughs> 